All right, let's really kick into this, folks. Passion. I truly believe passion starts at the start. At the inception of a business is where that seed of passion is planted and it grows. The seed doesn't have to be a big seed. Whole Foods, John Mackey, had a humble, humble goal. And that is, wanted to open up one store to sell healthy food to people. That was what he wanted to do. Open up one store. But he wanted to be passionate about that one store. So in 1979, he opened up Safer Way. Yes, it's a play off of Safeway. A year later, they morphed into becoming known as Whole Foods Market. And they were selling natural and organic foods down in Austin, Texas. And definitely, definitely the granola set would go to their shop. Something interesting happened, though. That one store has fueled hundreds of stores. And so founded many years ago, today, 390 locations, about 13 plus billion in sales with over 70,000 employees. Something took root at the inception of the company. While there might have been a humble passion at the inception, there was an inflection point. And this is where crisis becomes a turning point. And I think every business, if they don't have a passion story for why the company was founded, they might have one at an inflection point. May 25th, 1981, floods ravaged Austin, Texas, killing 13 folks and destroying the Whole Foods Market one store. This one store is absolutely wiped out, devastated. This is that fight or flight moment. Whole Foods was either going to live or they were going to die because they had spent all the money just opening up one store to see it destroyed. But throughout this process, though, they kept their humor. Whole Floods Market, thanks you for your support. We shall return. So they made a promise to return, to restore that one store. But in the process, something miraculous happened. Yes, employees came to help out, but the community came to help out. Customers came to help them clean up their store to get back on track. This is a company photo that gets shared inside Whole Foods. And this whole story here is a longer story. It's a company campfire cultural story. The important piece to remember about this photo, everyone here is dirty. Everyone here is smiling. This is a photo of employees and customers who have worked together to bring back this one store, to resurrect this one store. And in Austin, Texas, when you um, are there to celebrate, you're going to throw, throw a party. So about a month later, they had a resurrection party to celebrate the fact that the store is back. So a quick little takeaway here is that I know you are the marketers of your company. I know you probably know the founder story for why your company started, but some folks on your team might not know. You might not have taken the time to really make it a part of company lore as to why your business began. Or maybe that's not a sexy story. Maybe there's a sexier story, one that can become a part of the company culture if you have to fight past some inflection point. So if you have not codified the founder story, I encourage you, because passion starts at the start, to codify that story and make sure every new hire knows that story. Second piece. If you have some inflection point, some moment where crisis has a turning point, truly defined your fighting spirit, document it, story fight, tell it. Because usually within there, there's a purpose behind the passion. Henry Ford made a kajillion dollars, but he also knew this, that a business that makes nothing but money is actually a poor business. It's a business that's able to make a difference in people's lives that really get in that beloved territory. 